The old man standing beside me is actually Robin Hood, but I don't know that yet. Some of the students who are doing the play, we've been talking about that, were like, it's just like a high school production, but like at the same time, it's not just a high school production anymore. A lot of times they think, oh, I'm just a kid. I can't do anything about this. We're making national news and stuff. This is a big deal. High school students are pushing forward on their own after their school canceled their spring play. I want kids around the country to see this and be like, these kids in Fort Wayne, Indiana, went through this so I can, I can do it too. We were auditioning for Marion, and the next day they talked to us and told us that they didn't think that we could do this production anymore because community members expressed that they did not think that we should be putting on this play because there were LGBTQ characters in it. And it was defeating. I'm here to applaud whoever made the decision to not do this play. What we believe in is what the Bible says, and the Bible says that homosexuality is a sin. I remember walking out, and everybody was just talking about it, and I just didn't say anything. And as I walked out, the, the further I walked away from that auditorium, the more determined I felt to do something. We talked about it, where we could go from here, what the logistics were, like where would we do it? How would we get the money? All of those adult things that us kids don't really know how to do. I got involved when the high school teacher called me and told me she would not be able to be involved, but that she wanted to give it to someone that she trusted and thought would uh, honor it artistically. Just trying to do it on a really quick clock, not having a venue, not having any of the elements. We didn't have costume stocks to pull from. We didn't have sets. We didn't have a venue. We didn't have anything. And so uh, time has been the biggest battle because ultimately the community has been really, really supportive. A lot of people automatically group theater in with LGBTQ stuff or like, oh, you do theater, that's gay, stuff like that. You know, people will say that. And I've gotten that a, a lot, actually. So you want multiple shots in there? Yes. Okay. I would love like three or four. Okay. Some of it's just, you know, maybe ingrained homophobia, but at the same time, part of it is because theater is inherently a place where those who identify as queer, it kind of just gives them an opportunity to have a voice. I mean, I don't feel like a man. Okay. I don't want to talk like a man, or dress like a man, or drink like a man, or kill like a man. I think canceling the play was a way of censoring our voices. Marion may be in a fictional world, but it is very much about real people and how they live their lives and how they deserve to be represented and they deserve to be seen. We have sold out general admission. I think everyone's a little nervous and a little like on edge just because it is a bigger show than I think most of us have ever done. This will be a blueprint and an example for other communities that are experiencing this. When they have things shut down in any capacity, that um, there is a way. So do you like women? I like women. As much as you like men? If that woman is you. I think that's how I feel too. Yes, that's how I feel too.
I'm just so immensely proud. For me, what this show means is the success of my family, you know? The kids in this show are my family. I'm there for them, and they're there for me, and I'm just so incredibly proud of them.